Good morning, all of you, and welcome to IIT Bombay. I'm very happy to see a whole lot of stalwarts here to help us kick off this important program for the coordinators. I will later on speak more about the program. I'm Deepak Fatak. I'm a teacher here for the last 40 years. And I'm also the coordinator for this mission for engaging large number of teachers across the country and empowering them with your help, of course. Uh, without further ado, let me welcome the dignitaries who are here while I introduce them. Professor Vedula, head of the Mechanical Engineering Department. Thank you, sir. <coughs> Professor Kandan Maudgalya, who is the coordinator of all MHRD projects that are conducted in IIT Bombay. Thank you. <coughs> Professor Uday Gayatunde, the chief guest of today's function and a close friend for almost four decades. <laughs> Professor Atul Sharma, who is one of the lead faculties coordinating this workshop. And Professor Balchan Purani. Thank you. I will have ample opportunity to interact with you because I'll be talking to you on the valedictory function. So as of today, I will only kickstart this process very quickly because from 10 o'clock onwards, we have the first session starting. I would request first uh, uh, Professor Kandan to tell you about the national mission projects on education through ICT that MHRD has embarked on. And then I'll request Professor Gayatunde to give his brief keynote. Good morning to all the experts who have come from all over the country. This is a collaborative effort. Uh, in fact, the Professor Fatek's mission is to set up a huge learning portal in which all of you will come and contribute. And that resource will be useful to the entire country, if not the entire world. Uh, this is uh, part of an ambitious project uh, mission by National Mission on uh, MHRD, National Mission on Education through ICT. Uh, it has three components. One is uh, uh, providing bandwidth. Uh, as a part of uh, this mission, the government is giving bandwidth to universities at almost 1% of the cost. Um, every university is given 1 GBPS bandwidth and uh, a lot of it is available to affiliating colleges also. I think it is something like 10 MBPS per college and a lot more bandwidth is available depending on the use. Uh, because we have a lot of terrestrial um, connection available, connections available, bandwidth available, a lot of fiber is going underneath. So the government can indeed uh, make this bandwidth available to you, to all the universities. The second one is the content generation. First one is bandwidth. Second one is uh, content generation. Third one is uh, connectivity. So you have uh, heard about Akash. So that's a great uh, initiative and a um, lot of exciting things are uh, going to happen in that. Uh, but this uh, project, this uh, course is uh, funded by the third component, namely content generation. Given that bandwidth is available, given that connectivity is available, what do people see? Um, so given that a very large number of students want to pursue engineering, uh, for example, Professor Fatak was just telling in the morning just now, five minutes ago, that there are 2 million students, 20 lakh students pursuing engineering and another 10 lakh students pursuing diploma engineering. So very large, num very large appetite amongst the students and how do we cater to this? How do we um, uh, meet their requirements given that there is a shortage of good faculty members? Uh, how is it, how to empower each one of you so that we can actually cater to very large number of students without uh, affecting the quality of uh, the education imparted to them. So the content generation is the one that addresses this issue. And of course, you will know more about uh, this 1000 teacher training program, empowerment program from uh, Professor Fatek. And of course, as the course 
uh, goes on. Um, uh, of course, this thousand teacher, uh, the name itself is a misnomer now because we are possibly looking at two thousand uh, teachers in this program. Uh, two thousand five hundred. Yeah, Professor Fartag always says uh, ahead. So, and of course, uh, a ten thousand uh, uh, teacher empowerment program in research methodologies is in the offing. Uh, uh, it may happen in the summer, and uh, of course. Uh, uh, hopefully, we plan to uh, at this point only IIT Bombay professors are participating in this delivering these courses, but uh, the research methodologies course will have uh, a professor from IIT Madras uh, participating and then hopefully we will extend this to uh, good faculty members uh, in all reputed institutions in the country. Coming to uh, the contents uh, component the courses that are uh, the projects that are undertaken at IIT Bombay. If I start explaining that will take a lot of time, so I will refrain from doing that. I will only point out things that are possibly relevant to this uh, uh, gathering. Uh, one is uh, robotics uh, program that is a, a project uh, um, run by Professor Kavi Arya in, uh, uh, the, in the department of computer science. Maybe we will ask him to come and uh, talk to you a little later. Uh, open source software is uh, an important uh, component that is being uh, uh, worked upon at IIT Bombay. Uh, Professor Atul Sharma told me that Scilab is going to be introduced to you and Scilab is an amazing software. We have a lot of uh, support activities for that. Um, if somebody says that Scilab crashes, uh, it, has, it is buggy and so on, do not believe them. CNES which is the equivalent of ISRO in France is using Scilab extensively to launch all their Ariane rockets and you know that Ariane rockets place many of our satellites in orbit. So, it is an amazing software. It also uses LAPAC just like other commercial software packages do. It also has an, uh, has an attractive uh, graphic user interface called uh, XCOS where you can click, connect, drop and then simulate and then the simulation engine is LAPAC. It even uses uh, uh, docile, it uses the ODE pack and so on. These are some of the most outstanding industry proven numerical uh, packages and Scilab also uses that. Uh, Professor Atul Sharma will talk about it. Um, another uh, very useful software package is open form. Uh, uh, we have started little bit of work, hopefully it will be ready by the time the main uh, session starts. It may not be introduced, although we might uh, show you glimpses of that. This is extremely important uh, when you want to have your own software packages, um, when your student wants to become an entrepreneur. The, some of the commercial packages may become extremely expensive for entrepreneurs, especially uh, first time uh, uh, you know a small startup with who work on, who may work on venture funds and so on. So, open form is another exciting uh, open source uh, software and uh, extremely important for computational fluid dynamics. Um, we are using Scilab for data acquisition and in case anybody is interested in uh, uh, controls and that kind of stuff, uh, Scilab combined with Comedy, um, XCOS, Hot. So, these are some of the open source and uh, uh, GNU radio. These are all open source uh, software packages. Um, fortunately, <coughs> unlike in the commercial area where people compete with each other, in when you work with open source software packages, they can communicate with each other. You can actually say that this is an attractive uh, component in this, let us start working on this and so on. So, um, there are lots of uh, work happening uh, in the content generation area and I would encourage you to, uh, to go around and meet the uh, people who might be working in this area, in the areas of your interest. Animation is one area where my colleague Professor Sridhar Iyer is uh, working on. Uh, Python is an area where Professor Prabhu Ramachandran is uh, working. Um, and then design courses, Professor Ravi Puvaya of IDC is working on. Uh, so, I can only just uh, mention that, so that I do not take too much more time. Another very interesting project is uh, Spoken Tutorials, where we try to uh, bring in uh, support for all the open source software packages through uh, self-learning videos 
we are also conducting uh, workshops. Uh, in fact, we are doing something like 200 workshops a month to college students from all disciplines and uh, these workshops are organized absolutely free of cost and based on a post workshop test, we also offer a certificate for all people who pass these tests. In fact, I would ask our events team to uh, set up a small stall in front so that during coffee break or something you can actually talk to them. So, with these words I will uh, end this. So, I have given a glimpse of some of the activities uh, MHRD um, funded project activities happening at IIT Bombay and uh, you will know more about this as, uh, uh, as you stay here for a week. So, I wish you all the best. May this event be a great success. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Kannan. Let me very briefly introduce uh, uh, Professor Uday Gayatunde and indeed the entire team from Mechanical Engineering. They have played a very special role in our engaging thousands of teachers programs. Uh, first of all, about uh, Professor Gayatunde, he is an expert. I would say he is an expert period because I can't enumerate the number of fields in which he is an expert. But he is also a believer that the faculty teaching engineering programs across the country have to upgrade themselves in order to achieve world class quality, which like me he believes that it is entirely feasible. He has been so supportive, he took the first course. Let me just tell you that this program was originally meant to handle only the core courses in engineering. So he started with a programming course, which then had a basic electronics course, and we wanted a basic course in mechanical engineering, which uh, Professor Gayatunde agreed to take a course on thermodynamics, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. But it was his enthusiasm which led to many of his colleagues subsequently offering more and more courses from mechanical engineering. To date, out of the nine workshops that we have conducted, Three have been conducted by the Mechanical Engineering Department faculty. And in terms of the number of faculty members participating in these programs, Mechanical Engineering Department steals the show. They stand at the highest. So my personal thanks. And the reason I wanted Professor Vedula, our head of Mechanical Engineering Department, to be present here is to mention this fact very proudly that you will all agree, you all work in your own institutional administrative framework Without the active support of the head, such things would not be feasible. So not only he, but entire institute administration has been behind our efforts. And I am, in fact, thankful to them. Uh, so let me request Professor Uday Gayatunde to share his thoughts. I should really say welcome back to many of you, because many faces are familiar. I am sure one or two were there for thermodynamics or fluid mechanics. Sorry, heat transfer, which were the two courses we conducted earlier. And maybe many others I have met somewhere in some engineering college, some course, some QIP programs or something. As Professor Fatak said, for some reason about a year and three months ago, I think it was November or December of 2010, uh, he came up with a course idea or something called Introduction to Mechanical Engineering. And he said, I would do it provided it's thermodynamic. And I gave him some uh, low range dope of what I li don't like about introduction to mechanical engineering. Okay. And uh, from there it started and for some reason we had a reasonably successful program in thermodynamics. Coordinators workshop in February last year and I think the main workshop in June last year. And this was good because if you want good engineers in the country, we should have good engineering education. And if you look at the requirement for goodness, you need good colleges, which means good facilities, good faculty, and good students. Out of which good facilities can be provided, provided you have the resources with you, essentially financial resources, and the will to do things. Good faculty and good students, we don't know which comes first. But we know that in colleges where there is good faculty, Assuming that a basic uh, minimal good set of resources and facilities are available, 
given that colleges which have good faculty will end up good with good students and the moment you end up with good students you know better and better faculty will be attracted to that college so this is some sort of a you know a nice feedback mechanism now students come from the hsc je ct route there are so many of them that we hardly do anything from the our iit scheme point of view however when it comes to faculty we do help the faculty members improve their lot we have had uh, teacher training programs we have the qip scheme going for decades but the scale was small i think we have had short term courses for qip maybe 30 maybe 50 at a time what the ekalavya project of professor fatak has done is scaled it up by one or two orders of magnitudes we have had in thermodynamics something like 800 but in electronics and photovoltaics i was told it was something like 1500 and in a two day short program it was of the order of 3000 right that paper paper writing skills so this is something which has changed the scene and i have seen the effect of this because i visited an engineering college over the weekend and it turned out that the faculty member who did not attend any of these courses has used the resources created through these courses downloaded the <coughs> videos studied them and the the student behavior is such that it was clear to me that the faculty member has improved his teaching ability because of these courses this is a very indirect benefit but i am happy that such indirect benefits do always exist do also exist now coming to my department i should say i am more than pleased that my department has been a very significant contributor to this if accidentally i have helped by being the first guinea pig for professor fatak's <laughs> non computer science or computer science electronic stuff well i am more than pleased and i am more than pleased that my faculty that means the faculty of my department has supported this wholeheartedly uh we now have if you look at the thermal fluids engineering or the power related part of mechanical engineering we have three basic courses thermodynamics fluid mechanics and heat transfer and in some order we have or we are conducting these ekalavya courses under the national mission for education for these and i am also happy that the young faculty is taking interest in, in this i may be one of the old goats in mechanical engineering but our department is not that old of the 40 odd faculty members more than half have joined the department in the last 10 calendar years okay the new bharti if you call it started i think september october i remember the first person joining in 2002 and after that something like 24 23 or 24 new faculty members have joined the department so our department that way is new faculty heavy and after me everyone who has participated in it are the faculty members who have joined on or after 2002 and i am sure we are not going to stop with this because i know there is interest and i see at least one faculty member sitting at the back who i hope will sign up for some non fluid mechanics in in the time to come finally let me say something about this course you now thermodynamics was an absolutely basic course more about principles than practice more about understanding and solving absolute basic problems heat transfer is application if you look at uh, thermodynamics that q equals delta e plus w heat transfer is all about how to manage that q no new basic fundamental laws are needed only empirical laws like fourier's law of conduction and some additional physics laws like laws of radiation are needed 
of course heat transfer requires fluid mechanics and somehow we have taken a slightly different route where we taught heat transfer first and fluid mechanics is being taught now. But that does not matter, but fluid mechanics the course which will be exposed to you in the next few days and then again to maybe how many 2500 faculty members. You have an advantage in fluid mechanics because uh, it is not restricted to mechanical and you have mainstream fluid mechanics faculty in civil engineering, chemical engineering, aerospace engineering and so on. So I suppose uh, reaching 2500 would not be a very difficult thing at all and that is clear because in uh, thermodynamics and heat transfer we had 31 or 34 centers and now we notice that there are uh, 50 centers which became suddenly 51 without any notice <laughs> yesterday evening. And I would not be surprised that by the time we finish this session and finish our T 51 becomes 52 or 53. Okay. Fluid mechanics is a has a beauty of its own. If you look at it fluid mechanics does not have any basic fundamental laws of its own. The laws of conservation of energy, conservation of momentum which we have studied in either mechanics or thermodynamics. But the material which we use fluid and its properties that creates all these beautiful phenomena of fluid dynamics surrounding us. Whether it is the rain, whether it is the uh, beautiful flow patterns which you see or even if you want to see the storm every morning in our teacup when we try to dissolve sugar, all this thing comes from the dynamics of fluid mechanics. Fluid mechanics is perhaps more important than everything else for us and uh, perhaps that is the reason why in Sanskrit a fluid, a liquid in particular is known as dravya. And dravya has a different meaning also. We have solid assets and we have fluid or liquid assets. So perhaps fluid mechanics is richer than the other two disciplines of thermodynamics and heat transfer. But that although it does not have its own basic laws and everything depends on the properties of fluids, there are overlaps <laughs> and there are uh, questions of uh, applicability, questions of reversibility even in fluid mechanics. Uh, while uh, discussing thermodynamics, I think those who are uh, somehow know about that uh, would notice that we have discussed the Bernoulli equation as a special case of the first law of thermodynamics, conservation of uh, energy. And I think during this course, uh, the teachers will argue that they will derive Bernoulli equation as a special case of the conservation of momentum principle. Okay. So what does it really represent? This overlap between thermodynamics and fluid mechanics will be there. If you think that reversibility is something which we talk only in thermodynamics, not true. You know, if you go out you will see lawns and gardens being sprinkled with that rotating garden sprinkler. Okay. Uh, in school days we have seen that as a illustration of conservation of momentum. We push water out through a nozzle, so momentum goes out, there has to be an equal reaction, so the nozzle turns back and then there are two nozzles connected to a fulcrum in between, they rotate. Now do a simple experiment, take a small, nowadays they are even available in plastic, so you can hold them very easily in your hand connect a tube and blow air through it, it will rotate slowly. Now try to suck air back through it, it does not rotate in the reverse direction. This is a simple illustration of essentially fluid dynamic irreversibility. Okay. Uh, if you think over it, you will get the reason, you will come to the reasoning behind it. But let me not spend much more time on this. Let me simply say enjoy these five days, learn good fluid mechanics and then go back 
and coordinate and get 100 odd participants for each of your centers. Thank you. Ordinarily, we have introductions of all the participants. Uh, we have about three minutes as per our timetable for the tea break. But if we all agree that we could delay the tea break by another five to seven minutes, I think it would be nice to have every one of them introduced very briefly. So I'll pass on the mic and request each one of you to tell us your name and the institute that you come from and which subjects do you teach apart from, of course, fluid dynamics. Uh, good morning. I'm Malayalam Murthy from Government College of Engineering, Salem. Uh, I am teaching subjects fluid mechanics and finite element fluid mechanics for undergraduate students and finite element analysis for uh, postgraduate students and uh, for the uh, couple of uh, for the past two years I am also taking CFD course for PG students. Thank you. Good morning, sir. Myself Pravin Suruwade. I am from KKO College of Engineering, Nasik. Uh, I am teaching. Uh, I taught uh, FM for the second year and for third year I am teaching fluid machinery. Good morning, sirs. Myself, Atul Lanjavar from National Institute of Technology, Bhopal. I am taking thermodynamics and thermal engineering for UG and PG courses. Good morning, all of you. I am Kedar Sant from Vishwakarma Institute of Technology, Pune. I am uh, teaching thermodynamics and cryogenics for UG and PG. Good morning, all. Myself, Suhas Jagtap from Department of Technology, Shivaji University, Kolhapur. I am teaching thermodynamics and heat transfer for UG level. Good morning, everyone. Myself, Rupesh Sa. I am from SVNIT Surat. I am teaching FEM and CFD to PG students and heat transfer and IC engine to UG students. Thank you. Uh, good morning. This is Abdul Samad from Hyderabad, Mufakamja Engineering College. I am dealing with uh, thermodynamics and heat transfer. Good morning, sir. I am Professor Karthik Kurhari from RK University, Rajkot. I am teaching fluid mechanics at UG level and uh, uh, finite element method in PG level. Uh, good morning, sir. Myself, Nilesh Sabnis from Sanjay Godot Institute, Kolhapur. I am taking their uh, fluid mechanics and fluid turbo machinery. Thank you, sir. Good morning, sir. I am MB Bambere from SHGMC, Shegao. I am handling fluid power one and two, that is fluid mechanics and also taking the course on CFD, one month basic training course for UG level. Thank you, sir. Uh, I am Professor Uma Mahesh from uh, National Institute of Technology, Warangal. Uh, I've been teaching uh, fluid mechanics both for civil as well as mechanical engineering students, though I'm a civil engineering faculty, and also computational methods at the PG level. And um, more, in fact, into water management and uh, water systems, uh, water systems planning and management. Thank you. Good morning. I am Neeraj Sa from Institute of Technology, Nirma University, Imadabad. I am teaching thermodynamics and thermal engineering at UG level and exergy analysis of thermal system and CFD at PG level. Thank you. I am H. K. Mishra, Professor of Civil Engineering at Jawalpur Engineering College, Jawalpur. I am teaching fluid mechanics. I am Idla Vatkar from PVG College of Engineering, Pune. I teach heat transfer and fluid mechanics. I am Gaurang Shah from KJ Somaya College of Engineering. I have been teaching fluid mechanics, hydraulic machinery and computational fluid dynamics for UG. Thank you. I am Jill Sebastian from St. Joseph College of Engineering and Technology, Pali, Kerala. I am taking Thermal Engineering 1 and Thermal Engineering 2 for UG students. Good morning, all of you. I am Umesh Osarman from uh, KC's College of Engineering, Jalangai. I am teaching Engineering Thermodynamics and Engineering Graphics. Good morning, sir. Uh, I am Praveen Somonshi from Vidya Pratishan's College of Engineering, Baramati. I am teaching thermodynamics, turbo machines, and computational fluid dynamics. Good morning, sir. I am Chetan Kes from Nitta Minax Institute of Technology, Bangalore. I am teaching fluid mechanics for UG students. Good morning, sir. I am Wable Abhay. I am from Vishwa Bharati Academic College of Engineering, Ahmednagar. I am teaching fluid mechanics. Good morning, sir. <coughs> Myself, Amol Pitle from GH Raisoni College of Engineering. I am teaching fluid power one, that is fluid mechanics. Good morning, sir. Uh, myself, uh, Professor B.S. Gowdy from Walchan College of Engineering, Sangli. I am dealing with advanced fluid mechanics and computational fluid dynamics for PG, as well as uh, design of thermal systems for PG. Thank you, sir. 
गुड मॉर्निंग सर आई एम पराग सावरे फ्रॉम कमिंस कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग आई एम टीचिंग फ्लूड मैकेनिक्स एंड फ्लूड पावर एट यूजी लेवल गुड मॉर्निंग सर आई एम फणी कृष्णा फ्रॉम पीवीपी सिद्धार्थ इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी विजयवाड़ा आई एम टीचिंग रिफ्रिजरेशन एंड एयर कंडीशनिंग एंड आल्सो थर्मल इंजीनियरिंग थैंक यू गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबॉडी आई एम प्रदीप हेगडे आई एम फ्रॉम अमृता स्कूल ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग बैंगलोर I teach fluid mechanics, heat transfer, and IC engines. Thank you. Very fine morning to all. I am Dr. Suresh from NIT Tiruchirappalli, Tamil Nadu. I used to teach thermal engineering, heat transfer for UG level, and PG level used to teach advanced heat transfer. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. I am A. Pugadendi from Periyar Mani University, Tanjavur, Tamil Nadu. I teach thermodynamics and fluid mechanics at UG level. Good morning, sirs. I am uh, A. Sujatha from the Department of Mechanical Engineering. From uh, Tandai Periyar Government Institute of Technology, Vellore, Tamil Nadu, uh, I, I have handled uh, thermodynamics and thermal engineering subjects. At present, I am handling uh, heat transfer for UG students. Thank you, sir. Uh, good morning, all of you. I am Shilpa Mundkar from uh, Pillai's Institute of Information Technology, Nai Mumbai. I am teaching there uh, fluid mechanics and hydraulic machines. Good morning. I am Brahmara from JNTU oh. College of Engineering, Hyderabad. I teach thermo, thermal engineering uh, and uh, our, uh, refrigeration and air conditioning and environmental studies for UG students. And I teach advanced heat transfer and uh, CFD for PG students. So I am Pranvesh Ganai from GSIT Sindor. I am teaching fluid mechanics, fluid machinery and hydraulic and pneumatic controls. Good morning. I am Sindhil Kumar, Professor. Uh, mechanical Department, Sona College of Technology, Salem. I am handling uh, gas dynamics and jet propulsion, uh, then TKM and uh, geometric modeling. Good morning, sir. I am K. Kannan, Production Engineering Department, uh, PSG College of Technology. I am handling uh, hydraulics and pneumatics, thermal systems and heat transfer for UG students, computational fluid dynamics for uh, PG students. Good morning, all of you. Uh, myself, Pravin Sarude, I am from R.C. Patel Institute of Technology, Shirpur, and uh, I am teaching NACM numerical analysis and computational methods for UG, and for PG, I am teaching FEA, finite element analysis. Good morning, everyone. I am VP Gayakwad from Dikitich Textile and Engineering Institute, Itzalkanji. I am uh, teaching the subjects numerical methods and finite element analysis for the undergraduate students. I am R. Sandil Raja from Institute of Road Transport and Technology, E. Road. I am teaching engineering thermodynamics, heat and mass transfer, gas dynamics, and jet propulsion for uh, UG students. Thank you, sir. Good morning, sir. I am Jairaman from Shastra University, Tanjavur, Tamil Nadu. I am taking thermal engineering, heat transfer, and refrigeration air conditioning. Thank you. Good morning, sir. This is Karthik from Amrita Koyamathur. I am handling thermodynamics and fluid mechanics. Good morning, sir. I am Ashwin Dhubale from Vishwasriya National Institute of Technology. I teach fluid mechanics and automobile engineering to undergraduate students and fluid dynamics to postgraduate students. Thank you, sir. Good morning, sir. I am Sudhakar Subodhi from NIT Calicut. I am teaching fluid power control. Very good morning. I am Dr. Sandil Kumar. Professor of Mechanical Engineering from VIT University. I teach subjects like uh, thermodynamics, uh, computational fluid dynamics, and fluid mechanics. Good morning. My name is Chandrasekhar Sevatkar. I'm from College of Engineering, Pune. Uh, I deal with fluid mechanics at UG and PG level and uh, CFD at postgraduate level. Thank you. Good morning, sir. Myself, D.N. Naresh from Jaipur Engineering College, Jaipur. I am teaching fluid mechanics and automobile engineering. Thank you. Good morning, sir. I am Ashok Jitaranjan from Ambaljyoti College of Engineering, Kerala. Currently, I am taking gas dynamics and aerodynamics for UG students. Good morning, sir. I am uh, Arvind Deshpande from uh, VJTR, and I teach fluid mechanics and CFD. Good morning, sir. Myself, Rajesh Sharma uh, from Truva College of Engineering and Technology, Indore, and uh, I am uh, currently I am teaching RAC and uh, fluid mechanics. I am Jay Kumar from Ambuda Institute of uh, Kollam. 
then I am handling the advanced state transfer, computational methods in thermal engineering, and CFD for PG students. Hello. Good morning, sir. I am uh, Dr. Satish and I am from uh, Manipal Institute of Technology, Manipal University. And uh, I am from Aeronautical Department. Uh, I am taking up uh, aircraft structures, computational fluid dynamics, and uh, numerical methods for UG as well as PG students. Good morning, sir. Myself, Uday Bhapkar from KIT School of Engineering, Kolhapur. I am teaching fluid mechanics, thermodynamics, and ice engines for UG level. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, and welcome once again. I'd also like to take this opportunity to welcome a uh, set of my own faculty colleagues who are sitting at the back bench. I'll not waste everybody's time in introducing them, but thank you very much for showing interest. I would like to single out one person, though, who was honored recently with the Lifetime Achievement Award. Professor Date of Mechanical Engineering is with us. Professor Date, could you please stand up? <laughs> uh, this, I, would, I would say a few sentences about it. You would you would know that the nation demands some kind of relevance to the research that you do. And the most relevant research is perceived to be one which directly helps people who live, let's say, below poverty line, typically in rural areas. Professor Date has spent his entire life in doing unconventional research for helping the rural poor. And of course, the mantle is now enlarged in scope, and a lot of faculty members are following that. Thank you, Professor Date, for coming. With that, thank you very much all for coming here.